Donkeys, commonly referred to as the beast of burden, has indeed contributed greatly to the economy of pastoral and agro-pastoral communities in Africa. In Kenya's Manderas County, for instance, 75% of the household get their water drawn by donkeys. Moreover, 90% of the goods from Somalia and Ethiopia are transported to Kenya by donkeys. Donkeys contribute to the livelihood of the community, especially alternative source of income through the sale of uh, goods, fairing of uh, firewoods, construction materials, and uh, cross-border businesses. Hmm. However, the mistreatment and disregard to the welfare, care, and management of the donkeys has been an issue in Greater Mandera County. Donkey owners and handlers have in many occasions been overworking, overloading, and not feeding their animals as required. They agreed to maximize profits from donkeys ferry their goods from farms across the border and into the hinterland stops at nothing but little care for the plight of the donkeys. Wazazi wana toa school fee through the use of donkeys. Iko watoto ambayo wanasoma university sasa alilishwa na kuunda. Lakini sasa for the last one year kuunda ameanza kusumuza. Anasema why is your government? You had been using me for the last 40 years. Kwani yeye hamuna serikali? Where is the water minister? Where is charity in Gulu? That's the question the, our donkeys are asking us right now. Tulikuwa tunasema lazima vunda pia ikule vile watu wanakula. Ikule vile watu wanakunywa. Na mahali ile inalala ikue ni mahali ambayo imetengenezwa kabisa. Ambaye vunda inaanza kufurahia kulala. If you are no, don't care for your donkeys, it may fall uh, sick and uh, what happens is that you will miss the service of the animal for those uh, few days or months it is out of work. In the religion, even in Islam, Islam is very clear about the rights of, of the animal. It is only uh, a culture that uh, is a bit inhuman. Mambo ya afya pia hapo hii kondani. Na hata tumiwana hii mambo ya overloading na hii mambo ya kazi mingi bunda kutesa numea ikiendelea, bunda itakuja kuisha ambaye hata ile itokwako haiwezi kuwa hata aende achese ni mwenzake this has had negative implications on animals health welfare a fact that translate to less income and economic well-being of their owners but thanks to practical action the situation has drastically changed over the last 5 years with support from the Brook UK, Practical Action initiated the now famous Livelihoods and Donkeys Welfare Project, Lido, in the Greater Mandera region. So this project is meant to deter people from mistreatment of the donkeys and to observe the donkey welfare through the use of five freedoms and also through the 16 standard of care where feeding, sheltering and uh, treatment of the animals are a priority for each and every owner and the handler. The project main goal is to improve the care and management of 45,000 donkeys in Mandera County by fostering a more caring attitude towards donkeys among the members of the general public and building the capacity of donkeys owners, users and service providers 
to provide the necessary care. When approaching the donkey, we are, not so, we are not supposed to approach from the behind. And when using the halter, the halter, the importance of the halter is the animal will not hurt you, neither me, and the animal will be safe itself. How to start with the system by system examination, I start with the head. The project does not only concentrate its interventions to address donkey welfare issues, but also the poor pastoralist livelihood in the county. The project currently covers uh, four areas, Andera East, where we are, the office is located. We also cover Ramo, which is 80 kilometers from Mandera. We cover Elwak and Takaba. And since the project started, much has been achieved, including training animal health personnel, animal health technician, and veterinary officers. Donkey owners and handlers have also been trained on husbandry and management. We developed a donkey cut bylaw, which is called the Mandera Donkey Cut Bylaw, which is meant to harness the welfare of the donkey and also to contribute uh, revenue for the council, and which the, the revenue is also fluff backed to the donkey welfare, through the welfare of the owners, the sheddings, the provision of water, and uh, more so the prevention of overloading, uh, beating, and even the use of proper cut and harnesses for the donkey. Community-based structures have also been strengthened to lobby for changes in attitude, knowledge, and perceptions. <laughs> Practical action has also supported the formation of equine secretariats representing grassroots welfare groups to promote the campaign against mistreatment of donkeys. In collaboration with head teachers, school based donkey welfare clubs were formed, curriculum developed and shared with club patrons to educate the children, hence, boost awareness among donkey owners and handlers. We are a functional secretariat, which also I'm a member, and we shall continue working with the practical action. We shall also continue working with the Kenya Livestock Marketing Council, which we have already established the links in order to, to, to promote the donkey welfare and the policies. Artisans have also been trained to fabricate appropriate donkey carts and harness using locally available materials. <laughs> Establishment of Mandela Town Council donkey carts by Lisa. Gurubike ne bacharale ingap. Re e gurubere ne alnu jikti takir. Ta wakta roba Davidson. Ta wakta re e ali ali nu Davidson. One act of Ashra to the order income. Mamigari Anambur Gurgur Kak of the first secretary train of Namigari Chilefa for a buffeted digging. Namigari Lene Makaya to the order of it. We have uh, used the bylaw to train the police officers, we train the council of imams, we even train. Some of the veterinary officers, the livestock, the stakeholders in general, so that they will help us in enforcing the bylaw through the help of the county council officers within the Mandera area. And construction of 10 resilient structures and training of water users at water points on improving hygiene for donkeys involved in distributing water for domestic use. The project has led to many changes so far witnessed among the targeted groups since its inception. The achievements stretch from individual benefits to improved family incomes and living standards, from mistreatment of donkeys to better care and management. Over 45,000 donkeys have been treated for various diseases and conditions during field clinics, random checks, 
and on-site training. Visible change in attitude of donkey owning communities, especially improved feeding, water provision and treatment seeking for their donkeys. In addition, change of names for donkeys from Damir to Darmi, Malabe and Afad. Some of the most valuable lessons learned are that drought resilient structures and shed can greatly assist donkeys during drought and give rest to the people by reducing trekking distances and time spent. Donkey owners and handlers form the best donkey doctors and carers if properly trained and equipped. Donkey owners and community leaders must be involved at each stage of the projects and prioritizing intervention to create sustainability and reduce dependency. And more in-depth research and study needs to be done to fully understand condition, adaptation and social economic contribution of working donkeys within Mandera Triangle.